and I'm here to play test through Sky Jellies and to go over some of the glitches that I found and giving pieces on how to potentially fix them. So we start a new game and we go to the cutscene. I didn't really have I didn't see many problems with this. Let me see if I can uh, skip it to save once a time. Okay. So once we touch down we get the cutscene, everything's working so fine. None of the cutscenes in the beginning ever gave me any trouble. I don't think there's any like consistent glitch with any of that. Oh here we go. Okay, let me a little bit more. So I would say trying to get into the first glitch that I had, it would be uh where, um, so I would just do this, and then, basically, let me just get to the point where I would get to the bench, and then I'll go into what the problem was. So first I'll get this, then I'll feed the jelly. Then I would do this. And then this would also lead to another glitch that I had, which I might actually do right now. That might be one of the first ones I can talk about. So I get all this. And then I would come over here and then get into the second island. And then let's just say, yeah, I'll go over this glitch now. So one of the glitches I had would be if I were to, say, leave the game. So I'll return a title. Then I would continue. Once I come back into the world, the block that I had unlocked to let me get onto this next island with the other things I would need for later on in the gameplay, it would be gone. And I tried to see if I could get back, and apparently I could jump, which might be something that would help us later, but at the very beginning, it wouldn't really help me, so I can't get back. And I can't get back to the jelly or the home base or anything like that. So I'm kind of just stuck here unless I find a way to get back, which would usually require me to like just reset my data at the very beginning. So I'm kind of like just locked in place at this point. So I would say a potential fix to this would just be have some sort of either like kind of fast travel or a checkpoint system where I could like be warped back to a specific island that I've been on before. Because if I got here in the first place, it would know where I've been. So either I can like save my progress here, or like save my progress into a specific location and can get back there, or make sure that I can always like be like only be at certain places so I'll be able to walk back. So if I'm trying to get back to you, uh, I have to go settings and then I do delete save data, which also had an issue, but not right now. So I'll just do this, and then hopefully this will put me back on the first island. So I do continue. And then I'm back over here, so that kind of reset, which was useful. But then also, as you can see, the Jelly Soul level 1, I didn't go through any sort of like cutscene or anything. But I would say, as I can see, I only lost my equipment, kind of. But then, my Jelly is still here, and I didn't go through the cutscene, so it kind of didn't delete my data. Which is weird, so I think that might also be a glitch. And so maybe, since I was still in the game... So yeah, let me do it again. So if I do it again... Delete save data. Okay, let's try again. Okay, I'm still here, so just to be absolutely sure that this is something that's like still kind of saving a little bit of data. I'll just pick a couple of these and then give to my jelly at the penning it, so I'll feed it a little bit. I get all those. And then if I were to try and delete the game again, hopefully it will take me out of it. So as you can see, like I don't like lose any actual progress or I want to like completely reset my file, so that's also kind of a glitch. Okay, now it says new game. 
yeah, so it kind of takes a couple of tries to actually like completely delete it and get back to the very beginning, which is also weird. So maybe because it's still in the main part of the game, it has a little bit of trouble like actually deleting the data. So maybe we could switch it where deleting a file would only happen like on the home menu, and then that would hopefully fix that. That's what my my fix would be for that. And then I have to play it a little bit to get to where I need to the last glitch that I found, or one of the last glitches that I found. I just get a couple of these, and before I get there, the glitch is basically like making stuff on the bench kind of leads to a couple of bit of like errors. Like one error I had was where I tried making the bench be upgraded, but then I didn't really uh, only get out of the menu again unless I went back to the menu itself and then click off of it instead of just going back from where it was. And then also, I had to make like a fire, and I kind of made the camera go weird, unless something else happened with that. So let me just get back to the bench if I can. So... Hmm, <laughs> so I'm letting me do it. Give me a second. Do more of these, then let me try and see if I can get my... There you go. That's my various, so I'll give it more. Okay, this is one of my consistent glitches, so this is what I'm trying to talk about. Let me try going back to my menu. Okay, let me just return the title and then get back to it. Okay, I still have all my stuff, so that's still good. So when I want to like keep all my data, it's still good, so that's fine. Then I'll... Feed... And then add the jelly. Or not, let me try and get this. Let me go with what the thing is telling me to do. We at least have it in order. This is also gonna happen a couple times, I'm not really sure how much of a glitch might be, but like, whenever I try to like go here to do like the menus of what it asked me to do, it just wouldn't really register, maybe I'm looking at it wrong. Uh, yeah, it just wouldn't take it to my inputs, so this is also an error I ran into a couple times that may be a glitch, but I'm not really sure. Uh, let me try and go back to the main menu again. So yeah, I think with this, if I were to like cite this thing as a glitch, it might just be like it needs a better detection because sometimes it will like recognize it and sometimes it won't, and then sometimes it'll like give me the option to like say like oh yeah press R and then it'll do what you need, but then it'll yeah see now it's back, but then like it'll just uh like it'll like it'll give me like the prompt like press letter to do something, but then it won't actually like do it properly. And then maybe it'll just be like some sort of detection error, so something about that might be off. But I wanna get back to that. I wanna get back to like the clips that I like documented and have like specific things to say about Cyrus family, so let me just get back to that. Get back to this and I'll play over properly. It's still not working weird. Let me try this one more time. Okay, so I want to go to the jelly, edit, for like all times. Get berries. Feed. <laughs> Didn't do anything. Mm, 
this also happened, but like this truthfully happened before. Like sometimes when I try to feed it the jelly, it wouldn't actually take anything. I don't know why. It wouldn't really respond with anything. So this might also be another thing with like the detection of how like certain prompts work. Yeah, okay, now this is a different problem, so let me reset again. Sorry about this, and when I get back, I will get to the bench and be and then that'll probably be like the last thing that I cover. So I'll get to the bench with a specific fix that I have for that, because I do have like a fix for that. I have a couple ideas for glitches like this, but this is not like as part of my presentation as it would be. So let me try petting it. Okay, it's pet. Pet again. Then I go to the very bush and get it. Get back here. Okay, bear with me, I'm gonna reset all of the data. Maybe something weird's going on. Like, maybe I did it in a weird order and it's not registering properly again. So let me try and delete it and then go from the very beginning. Hopefully this will work this time. Or I guess not work, I'm going for a glitch. Yeah. Okay, pet. Pet again. Then pick berries. Then feed. Maybe you do it a couple times? I know it does, like, I got this to work before, so it's just like a random occurrence of it not working. Got a couple. Feed. Okay, there we go. Then I go here, hopefully he'll let me... Okay, here we go. There we go. So let me just follow the prompt a little bit more closely. Let me pick up these, and I might think we'll need them later for the bench. Pet again. Okay, now the bench is here. So I want to craft... I look at upgrading the bench. And then I would craft it. And then as you can see, I'm trying to move around like with the camera and the character, but nothing's happening. And if I press space, it'll like show the prompt to like to get trainers to jump like before. And so it's still not doing anything. But then if I press E again, it'll take me back to the menu. And then I can try to run it again. And it's still not doing anything. I'm still stuck. But if I come back to the menu and then click off of it, then I can move. And then if I go back into it again, it'll show that it's been upgraded, I guess, but it's so weird how, like, trying to upgrade it for the first time will just cause it to, like, freeze and stuff. So maybe, either, like, if you can find a way to, like, code that in a way that would not make that happen, that'd be good. But I think it's just, like, a fix to, like, work with it. We could just have it be so, like, you would go into the menu, you would click on what you want to, like, do, and, like, craft it. And then when you craft it, it would just, like, stay in here. It wouldn't go back to the main play area of the game. It would just stay here. And then you just click X, and then you would just go back to normal, like usual. So that'd be how I would try to see if I could, like, fix that to keep it from having any other problems in the future if... Because I would say, like, oh yeah, just code it better. Not code, not code it better, I'm not trying to say that. Like, oh yeah, just, like, fix the glitch, but it's like, I'm gonna, like, work with it, like, know how it works, not just say... We have to like fix it. Like fixing it is obvious. I want to give it a specific fix if you want. So that would be how I would like try and work with it to see if it's being weird about crafting and then trying to get back to the main play area and then it just wouldn't move. So if you just stay in the menu itself and then leave like the menu itself and it goes back to normal, then that'd be fine. So those were all the glitches that I found in my playtesting of the game. Well, some of them were like more inconsistent than others, but the bench. The leaving the island and going over here, and the detection, and the other stuff was like the most consistent ones that I found. So, yeah, let me just try and show you this one again. Oh, go back to title. Continue. And then I'm over here. And the block is gone, so either something about the block needs to like hopefully keep it in place, because that would also be good if it just wouldn't like disappear for some reason. So either that block needs to have like something more concrete in place to make sure it doesn't disappear, 
or just have like a checkpoint kind of system where you can just warp back to the main place where you need to be so you're not stuck. And then the last thing was how uh, deleting the save data wouldn't always be like automatic, or it sometimes need you to do it multiple times to get back, and so I would do it like this. And then doing it like this would kind of almost have what I'm talking about. Okay, now I did new game again, so yeah. Before it was inconsistent, but now it's being more consistent, so I guess not that all the time, but it did happen like constantly when I was doing it before, so that would be all the glitches that I found in the game, and those are my fixes. I would have a checkpoint system to make it so if you're on a different island, you would just go back, hopefully, so you're not stuck and can still get the materials you need to progress, or hopefully keep the block in place. I would have it be so that in the crafting menu, it would just stay in the crafting menu, and then you would have to leave the menu itself manually to keep from the game just, like, freezing the camera, and, like, the music was still playing, so it wasn't, like, completely crashed, it was just the movement was frozen. So I'd have you go back to the craft menu and then leave that, since it would always go back to normal from that menu. And then I would have it be so that, uh, the last thing was, oh yeah, just have it be so, like, on the main menu, it would have, like, an option to say, either continue or new game. So yeah, just maybe have like a new game as its own option like the entire time and then have continue above if you have to save data and then you can go back to the new game or something like that or have something where you can just delete the game data off of this menu and that would hopefully like avoid any problems. But yeah, just having a new game by itself all the time and having it be like a new slot that would just delete your old one from that point would work. So I hope that was uh, good. That would be my fixes for the game and thank you for listening. So, it's me again, and uh, here's my section talking about some features that I think could be improved or implemented into Sky Jellies. For one thing, we have this like rocket that you come in at the beginning of the game that's here, and I was thinking maybe, even though being able to like go over to different islands and stuff and being able to just click on your menu and then going back to the trial, that would, would be nice. It'd be cool if, in order to give this some, like, a little bit of utility, even if it's kind of just like a minor thing, it'd be a cool minor detail if you could, like, go here, and then, like, how this new one usually, like, so, like, if you go here, get the option to, like, click berries, and stuff. Maybe if you go into the rocket, it could also have a prompt, where it's just, like, go back to the main menu, or something like that. I think that would be cool as a feature. And then I would say for the jellies, you can grab them and pick them up and pet them, which are good kind of things you can do. But I was also thinking maybe as like a new added feature, we could have it be so that with at least the just go back to the floor. Maybe there could be another kind of feature where if you like press up the button like say O or something, you can just drop it and it'll like bounce a couple times on the floor. So you can run how like they're kind of like mushy and stuff, how they're just kind of like mold around and they could like balance that big like, cool kind of cute feature when you have them just take care of them and stuff, so, and stuff like that. And then for the last maybe kind of proof. Uh sorry, uh so, and so for like the last kind of improvement that could be in this, we could have it be so you can like pick up materials and then maybe instead of having it be so you pick it up once and then you have to wait a couple of seconds to pick it up again. It can just be, you can press it like multiple times in a row, and then after maybe like 10 times per material, it then go into the cooldown. So if I wanted to get like 10 berries at once, and then just go back to my jelly, it would be me loading after I get all 10. Not like all 10, like completely, it would always like reload like it does here. But then if you just click it like multiple times in a row, then you can just go do something else and then it'll come back later. Not too long, but like just a little bit because see here with the petting, you can do it multiple times in a row, it's really fast and responsive. So if you could equate that to with the materials around the around the bushes and stuff like that, up to like limited time, so it's not just like I press it on your time and you're on it all at once. You can just do it like ten times and then it'll just like be on a cooldown and then you can do something else. I think that would be a cool sort of features we can add to the game. So that would be about it, and thank you.